What's going on YouTube? It's your Troy Rock Combo, aka the Professor on the Sticks. This is game three of the series, and oh my goodness, guess what I just got through doing? Nice day you got there, buddy. I just went to Sonic, got myself the watermelon nerd slush. It was amazing. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about these nerd slushes from Sonic, and uh, so I ended up going to get one today. It's actually, uh, I was able to get one the, two days ago as well. I think I got the blue raspberry one. Uh, this time was the watermelon. They're both really dang good. I highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, those watermelon slushes are good. Why Why is this the first time I've ever been hearing about these watermelon slushes? But uh, anyway, so make yourself a trip to Sonic this summer and um, and go check it out. But anyways, uh, let's see. This is game three, I believe, on the uh, on the series. They get a crucial 30 goal, do a read option. I like the uh, formation he was in. I was able to keep it with my QB. And uh, get the touchdown. Look at Matt Forte just beasting. The Bears are actually this, the other team that I was thinking about playing with. Uh, you know, I love their offensive arsenal, and so I think that that would be a fun, uh, you know, fun team to roll with. I still might roll with it as my second team instead of having such a like a seventy overall team or whatever. Uh, but the Mr. Curl route, <laughs> everybody loves throwing these curl routes. But uh, as you can see right here, the last few plays, he, this my opponent actually has a really good scheme. You'll see. Um, I have trouble stopping parts of it in the, as this game goes on. But I was noticing already uh, his trend of what he likes to do. On um, That single back ace is so nice. It's just like that route. And uh, it's so 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 tough to stop that. You have to put a purple out there. Shade outside. All sorts of stuff to just, just try to stop that. You can beat man. You can beat zone. And see, my opponent has some, some a, a few nice blitzes. But he he's always, once again, this guy's... Usually the defensive end or some type of tackle, so uh, that allows me to be able to whenever whenever I do pass the ball, not worry about his user, and so whenever he doesn't get pressure, I can definitely uh, tear him up. And also having a good offense <clears throat> will really uh, uh, really helps you control the game and kind of dictate what what your opponent does. Because if you know you have a two score lead the whole game, you know a lot of times uh, your, your opponent will get out of their um, their offense. This guy did a really good job staying his offense. As you'll see, he has a streak, two curls usually, and uh, a slant. And, you know, that's, that's a pretty tough route combination to, uh, to stop because curl routes are pretty overpowered. Uh, so are, you know, so are slants, especially from tight ends or in routes. But once again, I, I knew what he's doing. I'm making adjustments to his pass game. Uh, I should have had another interception that uh, this really made me mad when he was. He's down 14-0. He should have thrown a, thrown, a, thrown a pick the play before. Terrible read. And then once again, uh, but that that inside zone play that he had was very nice. It was tor torching my defense every time I try to stop the run against that run. There's a few runs in this game that just it can be hell to stop with uh, you know your traditional defenses. I think a lot of these some of these inside uh, runs are you know strong power, but that's well known and you can definitely stop that. But uh, you know that this that single back ace he definitely has a pretty nice scheme out of it. With the run play and the pass play, I think he ne definitely needs to, uh, to add a little bit more to his arsenal um, because, especially in a rent game with six minute quarters, these games uh, have a lot more possessions than in mutt. So uh, you kind of need a little bit more than just one one formation, I would say, unless it's just unless you have that formation just down pat. Uh, but I, there's not, I don't think, enough big play potential in that formation to uh, to allow you to stay in all game. Uh, once again, you know, I've been. I, Dotted him up all the way down the field. Right here, he's rushing zero, and and quite frankly, it was second to go. I was like, I'm just gonna go up, uh, get my couple yards I can get, and and uh, remember what he did last last play. I didn't want to force anything. I remember I was able to get a read option and, and score a touchdown off of him, so I, I went right back to it, and uh, was able to get a touchdown. To you know, go into halftime up by two scores. He kind of quick hides me there. I wasn't ready, prepared for it right here. I'm trying to take away the slant. I take away everything, do a good job, but he was able to scramble out with Jay Color. So that ended up being a really good play on his part. But as you can see, these run holes are just huge that he has. And finally, I was just, I was just angry. So I ran commit. I never really run commit. That's why you give up an automatic touchdown, especially in the red zone. That's whenever you really want to try to buckle down because it's very hard to uh, score touchdowns. So once again, he's only he's playing coverage defense, only blitzing two players. But I was able to dot him up on fourth down, keep the keep the drive alive, and keep the momentum going. And that's it can be really frustrating if you're trying to run the ball and your opponent's on their D line. That's the one advantage I feel like if you are on the D line. 
Um, you can stop a lot of runs by just block shedding. You know, if, if you if you're running to the side that your opponent is, and with offline, you you can't tell exactly all the time who your opponent is. Uh, user guarding guarding, so they can they can stop you a few times doing that. Um, so once again, this is another advantage right there doing the read option. I made the proper read, but uh, the user. Uh, did a good job and then he was able to block shed so that was the advantage but this is a disadvantage I know what he's he's gonna be using his guy so I'm gonna hit him up with a deep deep post uh, to get the first down uh, you know if, if he was his user he could take that away and that was mainly my main read right there since it was third and long uh, I go for two get the touchdown so there is a there is an advantage to be on the D-line but uh, I, I think uh, not a big enough advantage to me at all by you know by any means <sighs> that's frustrating I feel like that should have been completed so fourth and one I was positive he was gonna get he was gonna run the ball and this was probably a risk I should not have taken to run commit because he is down by two scores he has to go the full length of the field he definitely has a more slow methodical offense so I I don't I, I just need him to you know the time is is not uh, my enemy and but I made it my enemy by you know just doing what I did. But anyway, so I was able to get the uh, get the uh, squib kick back. And once again, I'm telling y'all, man, you cannot stop that. <laughs> you can, but you have to commit so so much to it to stop it that uh, everything else will be wide open. So it's very, very nice and very tough. He tries to throw a curl route. You know, I was, I've been making some decent adjustments and finally was able to get an interception. And I'm celebrating going out at the one because of how he, he celebrated that one time. For whatever reason, that makes me mad. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to throw a, throw a dot as well. I was able to do it. Get the win. I'm 3-0. I'll see you on the sticks.